Hey America, it's God's comic, Brad Stein, and this is your Daily Brad. Folks, today I want to talk to you about what it means to be part of the Mighty 10,000 and the Militia of the Mind. I reached a place in my life where I just didn't know where else to turn, what else to do when it came to this country. And it's falling apart. It's loss of morality. It's loss of understanding what it used to mean to be a believer in Christ and to hold that as sanctuary. And I looked at the ability, the potential ability for Christians to walk away from their denominational biases and their church biases and traditions, not to abandon them, be part of the church, it's crucial, but to, in this case, just come together as a first century church, praying for each other, lifting each other up, inspiring each other. The militia of the mind is that group of people who simply are trying to find a way to come together. We might have differences, but we're not going to fight about them. We're going to lift each other up. If some of the things I say you're curious about or you've learned something else, I inspire you to think about those things. I ask that you would write them up and say, hey, I like what you said. Here's, here's how it inspires me or here's what I've learned. Or you might say, here's another thought that I'm curious about. What do you think about this? That is a kind, loving way to engage with the militia, the mind, and the mighty 10,000. But part of the mighty 10,000 was a specific call. I believe I'm a missionary to America. And so I said, if you want to donate to this ministry, it's three bucks a month. You'll have access to all of my comedy that you can watch because you uh, invested and donated. Uh, I'm hoping to create live events and a gathering of believers that just seek Christ, humble themselves, and become believers. That's all I wanted to do. Had I ever said, if you don't pay to join the militia of the mind, you're going to hell, I'd been wrong. Had I said, my ministry must be supported, I'd be wrong. You serve God and you seek him the best you can. All I said was, join the militia of the mind, it's free. But if you feel led to donate three bucks a month, be my guest. I want to see if God will, in fact, raise up a missionary to America, which is what I believe I'm called to do. Why do I say this? I've had a couple times when people got on the thread and somehow accused me of uh, demanding money. The moment that any ministry ever says, hey, sure could use some help. Somehow you're greedy. Somehow you have some other uh, nefarious uh, uh, plans that, uh, that, that's really just about greed. And if that's what you think, uh, I want you to understand something. We don't have any more time for Pharisees, legalism, criticism, uh, those whose ministry is to criticize other ministries. I've seen it for years. Those who spend all of their life looking for people who are actually trying to do something and criticize it because they don't have the courage or the temerity to create something themselves. If that's you and you leave that message on our thread, I promise you, you'll be blocked and you'll be erased. There's plenty of places you can go and disparage other believers, criticize and make Christianity look like a bunch of lumbering fools who have nothing better to do than to criticize and attack each other. Go find that place. Go live in that hellish system that you've created and had the audacity to call it Christ. If I have something or do something that is outside of the Christian mainstream or is heretical, just say, hey, here's something to think about. Here's an idea I was thinking about. I promise you, I am working this out with fear and trembling. But this particular movement, the Mighty 10,000 and the Blush of the Mind, like-minded believers who are going to lift each other up, pray fast, and see if God just might intervene and bring a third great awakening to America. Go to bradstein.com. You can join for free, Militia of the Mind, or you can be part of the mighty 10,000. 10,000 Christians who say, I want to be part of this movement. You'll also have access to things, like I said, special guest answers that nobody else gets and things along that line. Also go to bradstein.com. I'll be there tonight on Bradstein Has Issues, 7 o'clock central. That is my podcast with interesting guests and me explaining who I am and where I'm going. I could use your prayers. I could use your support spiritually 
and in any way that you believe God would ask you to do that. This is a call to arms for Christians to act like it, to be mature and to act in a way that we simply haven't seen in America for a long time. Let's fight. Let's believe. Let's lift each other up. Let's assume the best about each other. And let's see what God might do when he sees a humble servant seeking to lift up the other instead of criticize. This is God's coming, Brad Stein. And this is your daily bread. See you tonight on Brad Stein Has Issues.